सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन शेप फैक्टर ऑफ टू कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर्स बाय यूजिंग सिमेट्री रूल वी विल रीड दी गिवन क्वेश्चन टू कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर हैव डायमीटर टेन सेंटीमीटर एंड ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर एंड लेंथ ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर कैलकुलेट द शेप फैक्टर बिटवीन द ओपन एंड्स ऑफ द सिलेंडर For two concentric cylinders, surface area A1 is of convex shape, surface area A2 that is concave shape, and the side surfaces area A3 and area A4 are the plane surfaces. This question will be solved in three steps. We will apply the enclosure theorem to the surface three. Then f of three to one plus f of three to two plus f of three to three plus f of three to four is equal to one. Now we have to find out the value of f of three to two and f of three to one by applying the enclosure theorem to surface one as well as surface two. Let us understand the given dimensions with the help of diagram. Here the dimensions of the two concentric cylinders are given. So inside cylinder diameter d1 is given and outside cylinder diameter d2 is given. So we have to draw here the diagram for the inside cylinder radius r1 and outside cylinder radius r2. Then the length is also given that is 20 cm. Now we will give here the sur number for the surface areas. So for this inside cylinder, this horizontal surface area we will give here a one. Then for outside cylinder, for this sur horizontal surface area we will give here the surface a two. Now at the open ends here is also the solid material. So we will give here for this surface area area a three, and here we will give. Here, the surface area that is area A four. Now, what is the question? Question is that we have to find out the shape factor in between the open ends. So here are the open ends because here is the circular hole at this end and at the other end also here is circular hole. So we have to find out the shape factor in between the surface area A three and surface area A four. So we will find. We have to find out f of three to four. So how to find out? If we observe this diagram, all these surfaces, that is area A one, A two, A three, and A four, forms an enclosure. So we will apply here the enclosure theorem to the surface area A one, surface area A two, as well as surface area A three, and then. With the help of the enclosure theorem, we have to apply the shape factor. And when we apply the shape factor for this enclosure theorem for surface area A three, then the shape factor in between this area three and four, that is f of three four, we will get the answer. Now we we have to use the graph to find out the shape factor in between. These two surfaces are that is f of two to one and f of two to two, because uh, in graph that is available. So if we calculate these parameters, that is l by r two. So l is the length, twenty centimeter r two, that is twenty divided by two, because diameter d two is given, that is r two is equal to ten centimeter. So both are in centimeter centimeter. It is getting cancelled. So we will get the L by R two that is two. In the same way, we will find out R one by R two. So from the D one by D two that is five divided by ten, we will get zero point five. So from these two parameters, we will refer the graph for the two concentric cylinders. So if we observe the graph one, then we have to find out the point of intersection for two. And R one by R two that is zero point five. So from this point of intersection of zero point five and two, we will get the answer for shape factor of f of two to one that is zero point forty three. Now we will refer the second graph. So here also we have to take L by R two that is two 
and R1 by R2 that is 0 0.5. So point of intersection if we get then from the horizontal line we will get the F of 2 to 2 that is the shape factor of 2 towards 2 that is on that surface only so it is 0 0.33. So now we will get these two shape factors from the graph. Now we will apply the reciprocity theorem because we get here f of 2 to 1. So how to find out f of 1 to 2? So by reciprocity theorem we know that a1 f of 1 to which is equal to a2 f of 2 to 1. So we will transfer this a1 to the right hand side. So f of 1 to 2 is equal to a2 by a1 f of 2 to 1. So what is a2? So if we observe here is the horizontal surface area A2. So how to find out that? That is pi into D into L. But here D we have to take as a D2 because it is for the outer surface. So pi D2 L divided by A1. So A1 is this horizontal surface area that is pi D1 A. So this pi pi L, L is getting cancelled and F of 2 to 1 that is 0 0.43. Then if we put the value of D2 and D1, then we will get the answer 0 0.86. From the graph, we have two shape factors that is F of 2 to 1 as well as F of 2 to 2. So we will apply here the enclosure theorem for the surface 2. So if we apply the enclosure theorem for the surface 2, then we know that this surface 2 makes an enclosure to the surface 1, to surface 4 as well as to surface 3. So how to write this enclosure theorem? That is f of 2 to 1 plus f of 2 to 2 plus f of 2 to 3 plus f of 2 to 4 that is equal to 1. Now if we observe for this diagram then these two surfaces that is surface 3 and surface 4 possess symmetry about the surface 2. So if we observe on both sides of surface 2, the surface 3 and surface 4 possess symmetry. These two surfaces are symmetric about the surface 2. So here by the law of symmetry we can say that f of 2 to 3 is equal to f of 2 to 4. So we will write this. That is the shape factor about this surface 2 to 3 is equal to f of 2 to 4. Now if we put this value that is instead of f of 2 to 4 if I write here f of 2 to 3 then it will become f of 2 to 1 plus f of 2 to 2 plus 2 times f of 2 to 3 is equal to 1. Now first the two values that we got from the graph. So we will put these values and then 2 times f of 2 to 3 is equal to 1. So when we solve this, then we will get f of 2 to 3 is equal to 0 0.12. So according to the law of symmetry, we will get f of 2 to 4 that is also equal to 0 0.12. Now we will apply here the reciprocity theorem for this f of 2 to 3. So we know that by reciprocity theorem, a2 f of 2 to 3 is equal to a3 f of 3 to 2. Then we will get the answer for f of 3 to 2. So how to get this a3 I will shift to the left hand side. Then it will become a2 by a3 f of 2 to 3. Now what is area a2? So if we observe this horizontal surface area pi d to l. And what is area a3? So here circular sectional cross sectional area. So in between this there is the hole. So we have to consider the solid area only. So how to write the formula? So for this circular cross-sectional area, we will write pi by 4 d2 square minus d1 square. And we will put the value, then we will get the answer and multiplied by f of 2 to 3, that is 0 0.12. So if we put the values, then we will get the answer f of 3 to 2 is equal to 0 0.64. Now we will apply enclosure theorem for surface 1. So how to apply that is f of 1 to 1 plus f of 1 to 2 plus f of 1 to 3 plus f of 1 to 4 that is equal to 1. Now if we observe this diagram the surface 
थ्री एंड फोर पजिस सीमेट्री अबाउट द सर्फेस वन सो वी कैन से दैट शेफ फैक्टर वन टू थ्री इज इक्वल टू शेफ फैक्टर वन टू फोर सो एफ ऑफ वन टू थ्री इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ वन टू फोर सो इफ आई रिप्लेस दिस एफ ऑफ वन फोर विथ एफ ऑफ वन थ्री देन दिस इक्वेशन विल बिकम एफ ऑफ वन टू वन प्लस एफ ऑफ वन टू टू प्लस टू टाइम्स एफ ऑफ वन टू थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन so here f of 1 to 1 so if we observe this surface area a1 then this is the inside cylinder so for this inside cylinder this is of convex shape so the fraction of radiations radiated does not emit the radiation on its own surface because of the convex shape so we can say that f of 1 to 1 is equal to 0 then f of 1 to 2 so f of 1 to 2 this area a2 that is the inside surface of this a2 is concave shape so we can say that f of 1 to 2 that we have calculated 0.86 and 2 times f of 1 to 3 which is equal to 1 so f of 1 to 3 is 0.07 and f of 1 to 4 is equal to 0.07 Now we will apply the reciprocity theorem in between the surface three and one. Now why we have selected these two surface only three and one? Because we have to find out f of three to four. That is, we have to find out the shape factor between these two surface three and four. So for that, when we apply the enclosure theorem uh, to the surface three, then we have to find out f of three to one. Then f of three to two, as well as f of three to three and f of three to four. So here we will find out the answer for the f of three to one. And in the previous case, we have uh, uh, applied the reciprocity theorem to find out f of three to two. So here, when we apply here a one f of one to three is equal to a three f of three to one. So I will. Transfer this a three to the denominator. So f of three to one is equal to a one by a three. F of one to three. Now what is a one? So a one is this horizontal surface area that is pi d one l. And what is a three? So a three is this circular cross sectional area. So in between this there is the hole. So how we can write this? That is pi by four d two square minus d one square. Multiplied by f of one to three, that is zero point zero seven. So answer is zero point one eight seven. Now we will apply enclosure theorem for this surface three. So it is f of three to one plus f of three to two plus f of three to three plus f of three to four is equal to one. Now if we observe f of three to three, that is this circular area is plain solid section. so for this plain solid section we can say that the radiations emitted by the surface area a3 does not reaches on its own surface so here f of 3 to 3 that is equal to 0 now the remaining values we will put the value that is f of 3 to 1 that is 0.187 f of 3 to 2 0.64 plus 0 plus f of 3 to 4 is equal to 1 so when we solve this we will get the required answer that is the shape factor in between surface 3 and 4 that is f of 3 to 4 is equal to 0.173